Hi, boys and girls and KD. It seems like so long since I've seen you. I hope everybody's doing well and feeling good and enjoying time with their family. And I hope you're getting lots of work done. I wanted to tell you that this week, even though we're not at school, we're still gonna be doing a look. We're gonna do the letter W. Looks like this. The great thing about W is the big W and a little W look just alike. You just have to shrink the lowercase w. So let's practice making some W's together. Right, everybody get out your magic pencil. I'm gonna fill it up with some wicked blue ink. Ready? Okay, here we go. We're gonna start at the top. We're gonna go from the top down. Don't pick up your pencil. Go back up. Go back down. Don't pick up your pencil. Go back up. There's your W. Okay, erase that one. Here we go, let's make another one. Ready, capital. Up high, low. High, low, high. I know what a lot of you are thinking. It's just like an M, turn the other way. And it is. And you don't pick up your pencil on the M in the same way we're not gonna pick it up on the W. Okay, let's try, erase those. Shh. Let me refill you. Wicked purple ink. All right, here we go. Let's make some lowercase Ws. Let's not start at the top, start halfway down, ready? Down, up, down, up. Let's try it again. Ready? Down, up, down, up. All right, erase those. All right, so the sound of W is not whoa. You know, we like to add that uh in letters. We can't do that. The sound of W is whoa. You feel it on your lips. Whoa. So let's use a story that goes with the letter W. This story is called When Really Worried. It's by Kevin Hinkies. You might remember Kevin Hinkies as we have read his Lily in the Purple Plastic Purse. And do you remember a couple weeks ago when we talked about and we read about the name Chrysanthemum? Love that book. He wrote this book too. It's called Wimberly Worried. Hmm. If we look at that title, Wimberly and Worried, we should see two W's right away. Whoa. Wimberly, whoa worried and you can look on the picture this is Wimberly and she does look a little bit worried some of us might feel worried right now because things are so different it's not like our usual routines so that can worry us and this poor little Wimberly she's got a lot of worries too so just know you're not the only one who's worried about things and it's okay to ask questions and be worried about something let's read Wimberly worried by Kevin Hinkies Gotta put on my glasses. Yep, see now. Here we go. There's our title page. Let's see, is there a copyright date in here? I'm looking for that little C. Oh, I found it. There's a little C copyright 2000. Hmm, see if you can figure out how long ago that was. Try it. Bonus question. Wimberly worried about everything. Big things and little things and things in between. Mom, what if I shrink? There's a lot of speech bubbles in this story that Kevin Hinkies wants to tell us what Wimberly's thinking. Wimberly worried in the morning, Wimberly worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When I worry, when you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Her grandmother has a shirt on that says, go with the flow. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on her house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise that the radiator made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And as always, she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? I lost Petal forever. I found her. I'll wait for you, Petal. Her favorite little animal. I bet it goes everywhere with her. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. 
When Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. It makes her feel better when she rubs the ears. You might be thinking about something that makes you feel better when you're worried right now. If you're thinking about that, you're making a text to self-connection. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there's nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. Here's all the kids in the parade. See, said her father, there's nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said grandmother. Too much worry. And grandma's pointing to a sign that says, take it as it comes. Soon, Wimberly worried because it was school. She Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything else she'd worried about ever before. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher's mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried. She worried all the way there. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Miss Peachum, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Miss Peachum said, Wimberly, there's someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ear, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. And Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even a little less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Hmm, I'm noticing something about Wimberly. Come back tomorrow, called Miss Peachum, as the students walked out the door. And Wimberly turned around and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. And off she goes home. Wimberly was worried a lot in this story. It's okay for you to think about a time where you've been worried about something too. You can use this book to think about something in your life. If you remember, we've talked about that. That's a text to self connection. Today, if you have time, you can write down something you worry about. It could be something at school or something at home. In the comment section on our video, you can, have, you can type or ask your parents to type something that you worry about. And maybe you might want to think about a way, something that makes you feel better when you're worried. Even though we all worry, it's okay. And it's okay to look at Wimberly and think about how what made her feel better too. Today, when you're out playing or working on your work, Make sure that you're looking for W's in your work or look for W's around your house. We'll be talking more about W this week. I miss you. Send pictures of things you're doing. Send pictures of where you find W in your house and feel free to write about when you're worried. I miss you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.